step at a time. And hit, the first step is simple. You just repeat after me. I swear, there is no God to worship except my one God, Allah. Say Allah. He has no partners. Already he's helping you right now because you said it. And he knows it. It was in your heart all along. Now the next part. And I swear that Muhammad is his messenger. Jesus is his messenger. Abraham. David. Suleiman. Adam. We're all messengers of God. And I want to do my best. Do my best. That's it. It was easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Now we'll do the Arabic. And this is going to hit you hard now because it has so much meaning. Even the prophets, when they heard it, would go down to the ground sometime. A shadu. A shadu. Uh, you better hold on to her. <laughs> you got her. You got okay. A shadu. Shadu. An la. An la. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Ilaha. Allah. La Sharika La Wa Ashadu An Muhammad Rasulullah Wa Isa That's Jesus Rasulullah There you are Now what happened to you right here You just got forgiven for every mistake Since the minute you were born until now All you got is good deeds No bad deeds Everything's clean Peace be with you, dear friends. I am your brother Mario Joseph from Divine Retreat Center. Presently, I am in Wisconsin in, in United States of America. In this video, I'm going to say something very important to all the churches in Europe and in United States, or in a particular way, but generally to all the Christian church all over the world, to Catholic and Baptist, Methodist, Lutheranist, Calvinist, Presbyterian, Methodist, or Independent, AG, or Evangelical, all the churches. This is something very important. Please listen carefully and inform your before friends. I was as in Germany, as there possible. I met a family where they have four daughters, and all four daughters of them married Muslim men. And these Muslims are the refugees who came to Europe from different Muslim or Islamic countries. And how do they marry these four Christian girls and how do they convert these four Christian girls into Islam is very shocking news. Few days before I was in Austria in Vienna, there also, after a convention, one lady came and spoke to me and she said her daughter married to a Muslim and converted to Islam and their children are not yet baptized and they are practicing Islam. And I think this is very common in Western world today. What's the secret behind it? The reason is very simple. Because uh, the holy book of Muslims, uh, the Quran says, chapter 5, verses 5 says, O Muslim men, you are permitted to marry Christian girls. So freely, the Quran gives a permission to Muslim men to marry Christian girls. It doesn't mean that they must go and love the Christian girls and then marry and convert. But the silent permission is given in Quran that you can marry. So what happens if a Muslim man meets a Christian girl and if he is attracted to her, he doesn't, ha he doesn't have any guilt feeling. He don't need to have a guilt feeling. He can approach saying that I love you or I like you and I would like to marry you. They will accept the proposal. You know why? In the Western country, there are many women, either they are divorcees or they are widows, and they need a help, a support from a man. And these Muslim men, they have good job and they're working and they're earning. What happens? One day while I was preaching the same thing in Spain, one young Christian girl stood up in the crowd and asked me a question. Mr. Mario, why do you speak like this? If I like a Muslim man, I will marry what's wrong in it. And all clapped and all encouraged her. But the question is still remaining, what is wrong in it? And you know what was my answer? Quran chapter 4, verses 4. Funky huma tuabalakum mina nitha e mathana wa thulatha wa rubaa. O Muslim men, you can marry two or three or four wives whom you like from the women. Wow. 
you can marry not only one it says two or three or four now what happened to you my sister the muslims may fall in love with you and they may marry you there is nothing wrong for me or there is nothing wrong for you i agree but you know what happens suppose if they marry the other one what will be your situation not only another one that can be minimum four then what you will do you know what she answered she said i will object and i will retaliate and he will never marry another one i will make it sure no that's only a statement you know what the quran says read this quran chapter 4 verses 34 says o men if you have a disobedient wife you can beat her you can keep her out of your room and you can divorce her three things you can beat you can keep them out out of your house out of your bedroom and you can divorce them now i said three important points to my dear friends those who are listening to me right now one is that the muslims they will marry you if they like you the second they will have four wives if they want third they will create children as many they want and this all they can do without any guilt feeling because it's an order or a silent permission from allah given in quran so my friends be careful when they come and say i love you